Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to produce your own complete set of nail art tools just from bits and pieces you have around the house. Some are even better than my professional tools, so stay tuned. So let's get started straight away with the fine dotting tool. There's a selection of things here you can use, but just to demonstrate to you, here is the usual dotting tool, my professional one. An alternative is a cocktail stick, which you can see is really, really effective. Another alternative is a very sharp, sharpened pencil, so that's a really fine point on the end. And finally, just the stem of an earring. For a medium dotting tool, you can replace it with a pencil or a bobby pin. And here is my medium dotting tool normally. This is a blunt pencil where I've rubbed the nib slightly on some paper. And finally, just an opened up bobby or hairpin. For a large dotting tool, you can replace it with a flattened nib of a pencil or a Q-tip. And this is my regular large dotting tool. And then a flattened pencil, which you can see is still really effective. Finally, the Q-tip didn't perform quite so well. The first dot was fine, but subsequent ones were a bit of a funny shape. Now it's time to get into the nitty gritty and give you your striping brush you can make at home. My first option is to take a clean nail polish brush from an old nail polish and just trim starting around the outside and keep going until you've got it really, really fine. But try to trim evenly all the way around the outside of the bristles first. When you've almost got it at the correct thickness, Start to bring the scissor blades down from the top. This makes it easier just to cut off the right amount. For the next striping brush, I'm just going to take a few nylon bristles from one of my children's paint brushes and snip them off. Keep hold of them so you can keep them all together. Then I'm just going to apply a little top coat to the bottom of the bristles where we snipped them off. And then as it's drying, you're just going to make sure those bristles are all pushed together. So we're almost gluing them together with the top coat. And once that top coat is dry, we're just going to take some sellotape and actually just wrap it around the base of those bristles. Just fold over the sellotape and then trim any of the excess off, ready to apply it onto our pencil. And I'm just going to use an old pencil and apply the bristles onto the nib and then hold in place with some sellotape. And you don't have to be very perfect with this, you are going to be surprised when you see how effective this is. And the final option is just a dental floss stick. I'm going to cut one side and then just pull the fibres out at an angle so it's easier to get some polish onto them. So first as a comparison, I'm going to show you my normal favourite striping brush from Nail Artisan. And then this is the surprising one. This is our bristles with pencil, and how amazing is that? The nail polish brush didn't fare quite so well, but the dental floss stick was quite a surprise. Now I'm going to show you how to make your own ultra fine nail art detail brush, and this one again is a total surprise how good this came out. And we're doing exactly the same as we did with the nail polish brush, but we're trimming the bristles all from the outside first. Keep going until you've got a really small amount of bristles left in the centre of the brush and you need just a few fibres to be honest with you. And for comparison, here's my normal favourite professional nail art brush and just doing a few little swirls, you can see the sort of level of control I have with it, although it does load the polish up a little bit on some of the finer details. And then here's my DIY brush and this has amazed me, the control is fantastic, it works so much better than my professional brush. And this was just a little paintbrush I had in my cupboard, I'm not sure if it was out of a nail art kit or a painting kit, but you could even do the same with a makeup brush. Now everyone loves a gradient, so I want to show you some options if you don't have any makeup sponges available. And this is just a normal washing up sponge and I'm cutting a sort of rectangle out of the sponge. And for comparison, I'll just show you a gradient using a normal makeup sponge. And I'm just sponging this onto half of the nail to give you an idea. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the washing up sponge. One thing I do notice is it really soaks up the nail polish. Now this doesn't replace how good a normal makeup sponge is, but if you haven't got one, it's a great alternative. 
And finally, just for a bit of fun, if you want to create granite or marble nails, just take some cling film or shrink wrap and scrunch it up into a ball. Then just dab it in your nail polish colours and apply it straight to the nail. Just keep dabbing and applying until you're happy with the effect. And if you don't have a clean up brush available, just use a cotton bud or q-tip dipped in nail polish remover or acetone and wipe any of the excess polish away. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to subscribe for more nail art tutorials every Saturday and vlogs every Wednesday. And please give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching.